the boat sinks and you're in the middle of the ocean, we felt like we were actually drowning. You start losing air, you start panicking, and you don't know where to go, you don't know what to do. So I want to share the story of one of the hardest things that I had to go through in my life um, along with my family. I'm originally from Argentina, like I've said in another video, and we moved to the United States when I was seven years old. My family and I were trying to get a better lifestyle. We wanted to have the opportunity to grow and to learn new things and to have the American dream. After several years of being in the United States and going through all the appeal processes and through all the you know, different steps that you have to do to try to become a permanent resident in the United States, we were denied and we had to leave the country. We had been living in the States for about 10 years. I pretty much grew up living in the United States. I was eight years old and we left when I was about 17 years old. It was a long time and it was my whole life living in the United States. I didn't really know anything else other than living in the United States. So going back to Argentina was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. It was like starting again from scratch, starting up all over again. It felt like it was game over the video game resets and you're back in the, the first level. The most devastating part about going back is, you know, that culture shock that you aren't f familiar with anything, unfamiliar with anyone, and you are being sent into the unknown. And that unknown is what really scared us. But it's also what really helped us grow, become better and become a stronger family. This is where I became closer to my parents, closer to my sister, and we were able to bond a lot more. I definitely think that there was a lot of good that came out of it. The problem is when you're in this difficult situation and when you're in this, you know, hard time of your life, you you find it hard to try and focus on the positive. You only see the negative. You only see the difficultness. What helped us get through it was coming closer as a family um, having those loved ones around like we were still together we were still a family and <clears throat> having each other was what made us fight through those difficult times after we left the states and we were in Argentina we had the sense of the sense of drowning so if we felt like we were actually drowning I want to I want to illustrate this for you in a way that made sense for me in my mind. Picture yourself that you're on the, on a boat and the boat sinks and you're in the middle of the ocean and you're drowning. You start losing air, you start panicking and you don't know where to go, you don't know what to do. The first thing you would try to do obviously is look around to see if there's anywhere you can grab onto, anything that you can latch onto, maybe an island, maybe a piece of the boat. Nevertheless, you, you're looking for something to hold yourself onto. What we like to think of it as is we see a an island in the distance you swim towards that island as fast as you can and you try to get there and as soon as you get there to that island you feel you're saved you find safety once you find that island you rejoice you're happy things are looking better because you're not drowning anymore and so for us when we were in Argentina we had to find our island and that was moving to Chile uh, we lived there for a good amount of time working you know day to day and we got by we were able to do our daily living I was able to do my last year of school I don't know I think that made me grow a lot as well it was a it was a time in Chile where we we understood what we needed to do and we did it and so going back to the story right you're in this island you start building your shelter you start establishing yourself and you feel you feel better but then one day you, you look out into the other end of the coast and you see an even bigger island. You see a better island. You see something, you know, an island with fruit trees, really juicy and really good. You build a boat and you sail over to the bigger island. We made some great relationships in Chile. I made a bunch of friends. You know, I, I'm still in contact with all the people there and there are great people that made us feel welcomed and made us feel loved. But we, we had a new adventure and we headed to, to Mexico. And so... Things were better for us. Things were, were looking good on our feet financially and you know, spiritually we felt good. I loved Mexico. Mexico was great, but I saw a better island for me. 
that was when I finally moved to Canada and I'm really happy. I really love it here. I enjoy the people. I enjoy the friends I've made. I found my wife here so I mean it was it was meant to be to come here and this was the island that that I needed and who knows maybe a couple more years there'll be an even bigger island, a new place that I need to go and build. For anyone who's going through difficult times, times of struggle. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, leaving a different country and changing countries per se, but you're going through a difficult time. You tend to look at the negative. You tend to look at why is everything going wrong for me? Why am I struggling here? Why is this hard? You look at others and they're like, oh, they're doing so great. They're doing so well. And you compare yourself, you get yourself down and you look at that negative thing. Well, instead, what you should be doing is looking at that positive thing, trying to find your island. For our case, it was switching to these different countries until you find the place where you're truly happy. For you, it might be something else. I encourage you to look and see what that island is for you in your time and your life and, and swim towards it. Because once you get to it, once you grab onto that little bit of hope, once you get to that island, you'll feel better. You'll feel like you've accomplished something, reached that goal for now. There's hope in every situation and there's something positive that can come out of every situation. What at the time may have looked like a really hard and struggling time and something that, that I really hated to be going through. Looking back on it, I can see how those events have made me grow, how those events have made me the person I am today, how they've molded me into a better person and how I've learned from all those mistakes and all those issues, even the, the tough times you can get through them you can get through those tough times and you can progress and you can get to that next island that you're looking for well thanks for watching the video i really appreciate you guys watching leave a comment below if you liked it or if you have some more insight or maybe you have your own opinion on this um, i'd love to hear it consider subscribing i'm gonna try and you know upload as many videos as i can this is kind of like my island right now i am i'm trying to swim towards this videography and photography island and it's what's making me really happy and so I want to to get to it and then and see what what awaits for me so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next week